morning, everybody. I am so sorry I have been MIA. I actually have been suffering with the flu and have been so, so sick and was actually hospitalized. I didn't really post it on social media, but yeah, I've been really, really sick. Um, I just wanted to get right into the video. I'm not even gonna do an intro. I want to film an eyebrow tutorial. I've been getting so many requests for this. So I just thought maybe I could help some people out there. And after I'm done doing my eyebrows, if you wouldn't mind posting uh, in the comments and just let me know what you think, let me know what your eyebrow techniques are. That way uh, I can learn from you as well. I think we can pretty much all learn from each other when it comes to doing our eyebrows. There's so many different techniques because everybody's face is different, everybody's eyebrows are different, and depending on the shape of your eyebrows, that's gonna determine the technique that you use and the products that you use. Some people have no eyebrows and that's okay. So before I get into my eyebrow routine, I wanna just backtrack a little bit about my eyebrow history. I have been through quite a bit with my eyebrows. I actually have them microbladed. Well, no, first I had permanent makeup. In case anybody out there doesn't know what that is, permanent makeup is when they literally just tattoo your eyebrow on. It is literally permanent makeup. So I had that done and it sort of turned reddish over the years. The ink didn't stay the same color. So then I went and um, had them microbladed a few times and that ink also turned a different color, it turned bluish. I just haven't had really good luck. So then fast forward all these years and I am left sort of with like an eyebrow that is, I mean, they're not very, they're still sparse. They go up to pretty much like here and then they don't stop, but they turn really, really light. So, um, I, I don't know if you guys can see this, but these are, this is microblading and permanent makeup underneath. So if you're not a person that wants to tattoo your eyebrows, I don't blame you. There's times where I regret my decision, but at the same time, I'm happy that I did it because I do like to have a little something there. Like if I go swimming or get a facial or work out, I don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, is my eyebrow like coming off? So I know it's a common concern for a lot of women. So it's not something I'm embarrassed to talk about. So. Now we get to the point where we want to put our makeup on. Now, even if you do have microblading or permanent makeup, you can still do your eyebrows in the morning. I still always put makeup on my eyebrows. So the technique that I use is this. Those of you who have been watching my videos for a while know that my go-to is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. It comes in a little pot like this. You simply just open it. I actually purchased her brush that goes with it as well. I don't know what number this is. I thought it was a number 18, um, but it doesn't actually say. So it's got a spoolie on one side and then it has a very, very slim angle tip on the other side. So basically I already did like the rest of my makeup. I did my eye makeup, um, didn't even apply my lashes and I just put some foundation and concealer on my face. So this is just going to be a tutorial that's simply focused on the eyebrows. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna get up close to the camera so you can see it. I'm going to dip on both sides of the brush, okay? The next thing I'm going to do is take the cap and I'm going to smear it on both sides. See how I'm just pressing it in? What this does is this evenly distributes all of the product on the brush and then it also takes off the excess, but it also makes the brush nice and flat on both sides, which is really good to get in there and snatch out the bottom and the top. So the technique that I like to use is something that I invented called FNF, which stands for frame and fill. So the first thing we're going to do is frame the eyebrow. You can start at the top or you can start at the bottom, but what's important is that you get the outline of the eyebrow first, then you can go in and fill it in later. I don't like to start at the very, very, very front of my eyebrow. I think the very front of your eyebrow should be lightest because that way it looks more natural. If you start over here and you like your eyebrows to start darker in front, that's fine too. This is just my technique. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spoolie and I'm going to brush upwards. Okay, I'm brushing upwards because I'm gonna start with the bottom row first. So I'm going to start at, like I said, right about there. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space. So I'm gonna start and then what you wanna do is with the lightest, lightest hand 
do little baby strokes, little baby hairs, okay? Think to yourself, little baby hairs. And just do little. And guys, if you could just see the pressure I'm putting on my eyebrow is so light. We're gonna go down. And you're going to want the lightest, lightest pressure, especially at the bottom, because this is the part that we want to be the lightest and the most feathered looking. So if you can just see what I did over here, I just simply drew a line from here to here. Now, if you notice, it kind of starts out harsh and then there's nothing there. I always like to go in with my finger and just, just once or twice, just even out that little harsh line. So just in the front, and then I like to go in with my spoolie and just kind of like brush it out. That way it looks more gentle and it doesn't just boom, start in one spot. So then I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to dip it back in and it's going to be the same exact process, but now it's going to be for the top part of the brow. So we are going to, like I said, both sides, you wanna flatten it, turn it and flatten it. And now I'm gonna do the top. So remember, we're only framing, we're not filling it in, we're not coloring anything in right now. And again, I'm not gonna start at the very, very beginning. I'm gonna sort of start like right around there and think to yourself, baby hairs, baby strokes, baby strokes, baby strokes. And this is where you can play around with your makeup and you can really carve out the shape that you want of your eyebrow. So you can actually change the shape of your eyebrow if you want with makeup. Makeup is fantastic. If you want a more pointed look, you can create a more pointed look. If you want a higher arch, you can give yourself that. Um, you can give yourself more rounded ones if you want something more natural. Today, I'm just going with sort of the natural shape of my eyebrow combined with my permanent makeup and microblading that I've done. So now, as you can see, I didn't really do anything over here. So now this is the part where I'm gonna start going in. I'm not gonna take any more product on my brush. I'm just going to use what's left on here. In fact, I'm actually gonna even take some off. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, oops. If you draw on your face, it's fine. Just wipe it off. So we're gonna just with the lightest, lightest hand, guys, I can't stress, like I'm hardly even touching it. So just gonna frame out the top and continue to frame out the bottom. It is so light, it's like, I don't know if you guys can even see it with this lighting. But okay, so now I have the general frame of how I want my eyebrow. Actually, I'm gonna do a little a little bit more work over here. Okay, now we have a little bit of work to do because we started, if you have an eyebrow like mine that doesn't really quite start at the bridge of your nose as most eyebrows should, if you notice if you hold like a pencil or something from your nose up, that's where your eyebrow should end. Same goes with the end of your eyebrow. If you're wondering where to draw the end of your eyebrow, you want to align it with the corner of your eye and the end of your nose. And if it makes one straight line, then you know you are good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and draw one. I like to do like two or three strokes. Okay. Like little hairs. So I'm just going to go one, two, three. I don't know if you guys could even see that. Then I'm going to take any lines that exceed where I want it to go. So I'm just going to take my brush Okay, now all I did was frame. I didn't really fill anything in. This is the part where you can go in. I don't take any more on my brush. Guys, this stuff from Anastasia, it is expensive. I think it's like 40 bucks or 50 or something, but it lasts me like six months. And sometimes it dries up when I get to the very, very end and I have to throw, throw it away and get a new one. But it just goes to show you how long this product lasts. It is worth every single penny because you can buy the cheaper products at the drugstore, but they're just not going to last you as long and you're really only doing your makeup a disservice. So you're going to go in and you're going to fill in with little baby strokes without putting any more on your brush. You're going to fill in the rest.
So then you're going to take the back of your spoolie, the back of your brush, I mean, uh, and you're going to use your spoolie. And I don't know if you can see how it's so light here and then it gets darker. I like to always take my finger and right where they meet, because I don't like it to just start dark. So I always like to just go boom, boom, just a couple of times, just to sort of like get rid of any harshness over there. So guys, that is one eyebrow. And I know it looks like a lot of work. I know this video has already been several minutes long, um, but I'm sort of going in slow motion. As you do this every single day, you will get better. You will get quicker. You will become your own brow expert. Those of you who have known me know I love eyebrows and I've been doing my eyebrows since I was like 15 years old. And I just think it can do so much to somebody's face. If you are looking for a makeover and you're not really quite sure what to do with yourself, I would say start with your eyebrows because that could create all the difference in the world in your look. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my next eyebrow. I am gonna go through this a little bit quicker just so you can watch me do it sort of in action without talking through it every couple of seconds. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get to it and you guys can watch the technique and I will stop for a second and talk because don't feel like you have to keep moving the brush from left to right. What you want to do is keep the brush still and turn your head. That's a really good technique that I wish somebody would have taught me a long time ago. I used to always struggle with uneven marks. That's one technique I can tell you is that if you hold the brush straight and then do your work, but then as slowly turn your head as you go, you will achieve the look that you're looking for and it's going to look more natural. So... Again, I'm turning my head. I'm gonna go down. Look at me, I said I wouldn't talk and here I am. Ah! So, I did the bottom. I just simply framed the outside of my brow. This actually came out as a better demonstration than this side because you can really see the outline and the outside of the eyebrow. So now I just filled in. So this is the first F from our F and F, our frame and our fill. And I'm just gonna go in with the lightest hand. Lightest, lightest, lightest. It's like hardly even touching it. I'm going to just go and fill in these lines. So now after I'm done sort of doing the front of my brow, I'm going to go in and continue to fill in the rest of it. And you want to think to yourself, little baby hairs. I know I've said that numerous times, but uh, such a common mistake, even a mistake that I used to make is I just used to draw or like color in and that's not a really good technique because up close you really can tell that it's makeup and you want it to look as natural as possible. So I'm going to just go in with a little bit of a light pressure and simply do the top. So guys, that is it for my eyebrow tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you were able to learn something from it and you're able to feel a little more confident when you try to go out into the world and present yourself with really nice eyebrows. I know it took me many, many years to sort of perfect the technique and we are living in a day and age where eyebrows are very, very important in the beauty regimen and they're constantly changing. We all remember in the 90s when we all didn't have any eyebrows. Well, now we're all paying the price for it by having to do like microblading and uh, permanent makeup and anything else that you might do. Please post any questions or comments that you have in the comments below. That way I can go ahead and respond to you. Please even go ahead and post some pictures of your eyebrows and maybe talk about some of your techniques. Let me know what you guys are doing out there. I'd really appreciate the feedback too because like I said, I feel like we can all learn from one another. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to give it a like. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys, till next time, bye-bye.